Hello my soccer universe! Well, I didn't necessarily plan to do a Bundesliga review as the first like big review video because I just did the Austrian Bundesliga. However, uh, the not only did I find that this weekend the German Bundesliga was a whole lot more entertaining than the Premier League. Literally, it was, I was whenever I watched an English game it was kind of weird, whereas the German games uh, were really really good and on top of that we had really remarkable results and uh, I have a very positive uh, spin on Lask. I'm varying Lask. Lask are first in the league and I'm so happy because it's looked like after the first round it will be that Salzburg will be first in the first round up until the last round. Well, they lost to Sturm. They won again. Uh, however, now it's not Rapid, it's Lask who are first in the table thanks to an tremendous goal scoring performance that we have to talk about only the second ever last player to score four in a game we had that guy his name Marin Ljubicic is one put it in your books I think we will hear about him relatively soon at some bigger club uh, again and more on him yeah, there are more amazing stats out there he is in very 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 rare company <laughs> Let's put it that way at this moment. So signs are good. They are first in the, in the table and yeah, it was uh, thoroughly ent entertaining and that on the back of a rather bad weekend for Austria in the European competitions. Yeah, because Lusk is not in Europe at the moment and um, they have been making the most points. But the other teams are rather disappointing. But we'll talk about Europe once we get to the playoff stage. Then we'll kind of talk about all these qualifiers. There's a whole lot to talk there. And as I said, in the Bundesliga, I think Bayern put down a marker. And it's literally, I, I was saying, should I say, Lask like Bayern or Bayern like Lask? <laughs> but I have to say, Lask like Bayern is probably the better uh, uh, headline. Because Bayern went first, Bayern put down the marker. Uh, not only did they win in the Super Cup against Leipzig, scoring tons of goals, uh, they just rolled over Frankfurt. Uh, it, it is scary. The good thing is that... Um, it doesn't, didn't really, um, we knew that Bayern will be scary and Bayern is going to win big. Uh, but I have to say that at least the other Bundesliga games uh, were not really that effective because uh, it was entertaining. It was full stadiums. It was a good at atmosphere. I, I'm coming really around to the Bundesliga, I, I'm afraid to say. <laughs> As an Austrian, I mean, most Austrians watch the Bundesliga, but for me the Bundesliga was always kind of a secondary com com competition. It's really a good competition. So, yeah. That's bad. But I really want to start in Austria with this one. Um, go through the games one, one by one. Uh, Ried against Sturm is the first one here on the menu. Um, Sturm showing the same face that they showed again in uh, Poland against Dynamo Kiev, where they really start out well, get an early goal, and then forget to finish the job. And Reed fought themselves back and uh, get a penalty uh, late on that uh, they get an equalizer. It was a, a, a weird situation where the penalty foul was. Then Sturm launched a counter, almost made it 2-0. And then Reed, it's a VAR penalty and Reed gets uh, it to 1-1. One, one. Uh, it felt much like a win for Reed, uh, this one. But you see the result, Wolfsburg against Lask. Wolfsburg! I mean, is not in a good shape. They only managed a goalless draw at Xira United at home from Malta, the fourth place team from for, for Malta, the fourth place team for Austria against the fourth place. It's it's an absolute disgrace what they're doing at at, at, at this moment. And Lusk are in good form, and especially Marin Ljubicic, who scores four. Now I was actually in the stadium for the ever other play. It was an away game. Uh, Gea Frigat, a Norwegian. Um, scored four against Admira Vaka, but what Lubicic is doing, he has six goals after the first three games. He has a total of nine goals in four games, in four competitive games for Lasca already. This guy is on fire. Now, six goals in three Bundesliga games, only two other players have achieved it. One is Tibor Nilashi, a Hungarian superstar playing for Austria Vienna in the 80s. Uh, I think he's not as well known because he had to play for Hungary. And I think that he played in Austria was only due to the neutral status of Austria that he could uh, move from the Hungarian league. But he was a veritable superstar in the Austrian league and uh, also for the Hungarian national, national team. Um, I think you might, so you might not recognize that name, but uh, uh, from an uh, Austrian history perspective, that's already a, a 
pretty darn good name. But there's another one who scored uh, six in three games. A certain Oliver Bierhoff. And you might have heard of this guy. Ljubicic is it a guy with Nilaji and Bierhoff. I am serious. I think this guy is the real deal. Uh, yes, the opposition was, but even the, uh, the goal he scored against Austria Vienna was an absolute striker's goal. And uh, the way he scored a goal, it was already in the first minute. Uh, so I think 21 seconds or some, some, something like that. I mean, crawl across in, he scores with, with the header. Goiginger. And it was so funny because uh, I was in the eighth minute. And I actually considered not watching the first few minutes of the, of the game because I wanted to finish the Austria, the German Bundesliga games. And then I said, nah. I should watch Lask because it, it is my, uh, and I can watch the highlights afterwards. I would have missed the first three goals if I would have gone that far out, uh, which would have uh, angered me seriously. Goiginger scores the second goal, uh, where I say to my wife, who sees it next week, he has the ball. I hope he sees the free man to his, who is right, because he's very, very selfish. No, he takes a shot 2 0. Thank you. Then uh, a really nice through ball to Lubicic. Uh, in the 20, 20, 20, 20, 21st, where he sees it in front of him, he just, uh, take, 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 take the left, finishes with the right through the goal, his legs. His fourth goal, after he missed a pretty big chance or, 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 or already, no one is attacking him, and he just slaloms around the Wolfsburg players, makes it four. And after the half, uh, he dusts off, um, that should have been a Nakamura goal, but he was brilliantly saved by Wolfsburg to make it, uh, five. In the 50th minute, the game was done. I mean, I rarely had such relaxed afternoons when it comes to Lusk. That they pulled that uh, Wolfsburg 61st pulled one back. Yeah, but, uh, I was actually hoping that the players that he brought on, like Kuluris, Jules, Will and uh, Balic, that one of those will uh, add on to, 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 to Tatelli. But at that moment, even the commentators did not talk much about this game anymore. Thoroughly happy. Thoroughly happy, and I knew if Rapid uh, drops some points, uh, we will all or, or, or be first, or maybe after the next round, and we'll talk about this. Salzburg bounced back with a relatively decent performance over Hartberg. Uh, you know, nothing really much to talk home about, um, but you know, Salz so Salzburg is still in the finding phase, and we have to see uh, how it develops. I still think they will become champions. Sunday was also a remarkable day with all the games that were have haven't played. The worst, the favorite, the, the favorites always had a clear lead. Austria had a two nil lead in Alltag at the fifty third minute, and managed to lose the game. Um, uh, lay, lay, lay down with all the goals. Nuhia pulls from back, then uh, um, Braun in the on seventy fourth, and Nuhia in stoppage time makes it three two. First win for Miroslav Klose as a head coach of um, a first team. So uh, that is rather, rather remarkable. What was very happy for me is, of course, that Rapid also, uh, what a bad showing they had in Azerbaijan against Nefti Baku, Nefti Baku. Uh, they kind of uh, followed up with a relatively good first half performance where they got the goal. Uh, then they shoot themselves in the foot with um, a yellow red. And then it was all loose listener who well have, could have well won, won this game. They get the late equalizer. Which at this point in the seventh minute, which at that point meant uh, that Lask is first on the table, thanks to goal difference. So uh, very pleased with that, and also remarkable. Tirol had a late a two nil lead, and I think then uh, in the 85th in the stoppage from Klagenfurt could draw level. So I already uh, teased this before. We have a new leader. It is my favorite team. I am over the moon with that. Uh, Rapid is the only team that uh, is level, although Rapid really does not look well. Salzburg, as I said, bounce back, Sturm Graz. I think those top four will be also the top four. The other teams remains to be seen. I'm also a little bit giddy that Austria Vienna after three rounds still has negative points. They only made one point against Lask. It doesn't show me <laughs> good. That's very one negative for Lask. Um, over you also see on the side, uh, on the other side, the adjusted standings where I have a new difference. So it's kind of the projected points, other points that uh, if you take the current rating, how many points would you expect the team to make? And uh, given the results, how many points I expect in the other column? And then if there's a green bar, the difference shows that uh, you're exceeding. So I think it's a better measure. Rather complicated, but you know, uh, you see a better measure who is doing well and who is not doing well. And we see Lusk and Rapid and Sturm are actually a little bit uh, exceeding. As for the expected final regular season standings, not much has changed here. Sturm is now ahead of Rapid because they have slightly better results. Um, Salzburg still the overwhelming favorite, and the top six out 
I actually at this point I, I would say the wall was is on the real danger of crashing out of this top six. However, they started slow last season as well, so it's really, really early still at this point. Uh, and you also see the expected final standings, you know, uh, don't want to uh, lose much time on that. However, I want to lose some time on the upcoming games, because uh, especially the games on Sunday, we have a first against second matchup between Lask and Rapid. And I cannot wait for that. I mean, it has a little bit of spice because current last coach Kuba, of course, is a Rapid legend and uh, he came more or less from directly from Rapid. Rapid is playing midweek in Europe. I uh, have to make up there some stuff. This would be, if Lask would win that, 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 that would mean a whole lot in the fight for the top six already and probably in the fight for a European finish. Uh, we also have Salzburg against Wolf, Wolfsburg, which uh, ahead of the season I would say that's a pretty good matchup. Uh, but the way Wolfsburg are, I would actually expect a rather clear win for Salzburg. Leaving Austria, having said a whole lot, let's talk about what's happening in Germany. Boy! Frankfurt against Bayer was one of those the craziest games that you will ever see. And it ended in utter destruction for Frankfurt, which was really hard to see. An Oliver Glasner team that's usually very, very uh, settled and ordered was completely, I mean, utterly taken apart by Bayern. It started, I mean, the atmosphere, gotta say, this was, except for the national anthem, which was uh, booed by the Frankfurt for the fans because it's too American, except for that. I think the way they did it was a small show. You had from every team a fan on the center circle with the, um, you know, with the cover for the center circle, uh, the Bundesliga cover there. Um, it all went really well. The fans were up for it. You play against Bayern, you are with, you celebrating still your Europa League win. There are the flares and the stupid... These announcements, I think, are one of the most pointless out there. Please don't use uh, pyrotechnics. Ultras are gonna use pyrotechnics. It, 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 it seems like yeah, they have to say blah, blah, blah. A free kick is given or, 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 or Leon and Kimmer has been a little bit tipped off the trap. is rather off his line. Of, uh, he goes for the near corner. Yes, there's a little bit fog. I don't think this uh, and this is a problem for Trapp as much as that he is completely not at all expecting what's happening and he shoots it a one man wall, two men would, would have probably done it and he shoots it in the near near corner and in perfect free kick. And while I'm smiling here, I'm everything but giddy because I badly wanted Frankfurt to do well. And Frankfurt was completely unsorted. Benjamin Pavard, a few minutes, minutes later, makes it 2-0. But then was a really, really weird phase. Frankfurt found themselves in, in the game. A header by Tuta hits the crossbar. Then probably the mi already the miss of the season. I think it's Gnabry and Müller. Clear on goal with only one defender going in. Gnabry plays it to Müller and Müller somehow stumbles it not. Stumbles and doesn't pull it over the line. This is a miss, uh, it is almost slapstick and comically in, 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 on every level. Uh, then Frankfurt, I think Lindstrom is clear on goal, makes a great first touch and then puts it wide. If Frankfurt score one of those, we might have half a game, but then Gnabry to Manet in the 29th and the game is done and then it got ugly. Then it got really, really ugly. It was 5-0. At the half, uh, Musiala and Gnabry adding the other two to goals. Um, at 4 0, I switched over to Arsenal against Palace. Because I just, uh, there's no. If it's a team I support, the last game I can watch up until the very end because, you know, it's my game. And even that I didn't watch, uh, I did and some other stuff while it was still still on. But it's just not uh, fun any, any, anymore. Frankfurt, a little bit car consolation. They scored a goal through Jakic that was given for uh, no out, given for offside. Uh, Kolomuani pulls one back, but it's still, it was still all Bayern who had Musiala as a sixth. Utter, utter destruction. And that was pulling down a marker. This was, yes, Frankfurt didn't look well. We have to see how they will do against Real Madrid and in the upcoming games. I don't think that Frankfurt will call it. I think at this moment, the way Bayern roll over Leipzig, they roll over Frankfurt. At this moment, Bayern are scary good. I would go even as far as saying they look at the moment as the best team in Europe. At this very moment. I'm not saying they will win the Champions League yet. 
at this very moment, Bayern look like the best team in Europe. And not even the Licht is not even playing. And it is scary good. Uh, and I think it's the Nagelsmann tactics, tactics that are with the double six that no one really knows how yet how to counteract. I think someone will find out and then we'll see how quickly Nagelsmann can adapt. But scary good. Scary, scary good. The other games in the Bundesliga, uh, it was actually the Saturday afternoon was rather um, and, and entertaining. Augsburg against Freiburg. Gregoric, who came from uh, Augsburg, scores the first goal in 46 minutes after already missing a few chances. Freiburg then. Second half, it was all uh, within a few minutes. I mean, uh, Gregoric scores in 46. Grifo, great uh, free freak in the 48th. Um, also catching out the goalie. Uh, they should have had a third. Uh, there was on the, uh, this is but Ginter and Doan make it a really, really uh, obvious scoreline. Um, Bochum Mainz, not much that I can say about except that all goals scored by Austrians and that you probably should watch the Bochum goal. Um, Gladbach Hoffenheim, I forgot, I forgot about that one. Um, the expected winning except that Gladbach uh, went down, although they were a man up, but then uh, also go back. We have to see how they are going. The Berlin Derby was all Union. Uh, it was tense as soon as Sibaceo makes it 1-0. Uh, it was only one in then Geraldo Becker. Uh, adds a second and uh, Knoche a third in the 54th. This is gone. Hertha only pull a goal back. Um, Wolfsburg Bremen, the worst jersey matchup of the weekend. Although uh, West Ham against City, I think I are a close contender. Uh, Wolfsburg take the league. brilliant goal, but completely against the run, run of play. Then Fulkrug and Bittencourt uh, turn turn around, but uh, Wol Wol Wolfsburg gets equalizer under the new management of Nico Kovac. Even the Dortmund Leverkusen game was not as great. I mean, uh, Dortmund get the early goal for uh, where Royce. Uh, it was a shot by Arthur Yemi that got the kind of block and Royce and puts 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 over the line. But then I have to say it was kind of a so and so game where Leverkusen it was. Very much then that Patrick Schick had a personal uh, duel with um, uh, Gregor Kobel uh, in the Dortmund goal. They would have very well deserved an equalizer there. It was not a great game. Uh, Radetzky gets in a very weird red card where he's inside the box, but he touches the ball outside, 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 outside the box. Uh, the other thing is that the spectators were asked to stay in the stadium because of a police uh, thing, which yeah sounds scary. In a way, so yeah, this was uh, kind of not too 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 much to talk about. Leipzig looked uh, good against Stuttgart at the beginning, score an early goal from Kunku. Um, then Ahmada, Ahmada with Kalachi make a one-two. At that point, then Stuttgart looks a little bit better uh, at one-one, but second half it was all Leipzig who just cannot find the winner. And Schalke's comeback to the Bundesliga against Köln. Honestly, it was a little bit unlucky because first you score an absolute gorgeous goal through Salazar. Um, however, one player is standing in front of a goalie, so that is called back. Then Drexler steps on the um, foot, uh, on the uh, leg uh, of a uh, of Hector, which then in VAR is going in the red card. It was not on purpose. I think it was more clumsy. So that didn't go all the goal away. Then uh, Kilian scores the first goal after a corner kick. That was awarded. It probably was not a corner kick. It's not very conclusive. Uh, Kainz does one off for 2 0. was clear. Then Bulter puts one back. Uh, but then Lu Lubicic uh, makes it clear. And this is not a Lubicic from last. This is a Lubicic that actually played for Rapid. Also Austria. So again, two Austrians scoring uh, for Köln. And don't, don't get wrong, I do like both teams, but I think at the moment I'm definitely more for Köln. Uh, it was weird because it was a, a cross by Tilman that Ljubicic uh, scores, it goes onto the, uh, the upright and then on the back of the goal. So technically it was an own goal, so I don't think it should actually count for Ljubicic. So yeah, after the first round, I mean, uh, standings, I don't think we need to say much less. Let's go to, to the expected final standings. Also not much, except the Frankfurt lose a lot of ground. I mean, if Bayern rolls over you, yes. And then a few changes there, um, with especially Hoffenheim losing some ground. The next round, to be honest, um, I was actually, uh, it's, 
how hard how, 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 how to say uh, the, for for me almost the best game is Leipzig against current is the two European opponents although current probably will uh, dig in deep there. Uh, there are some a few traditional duels between Werder and Stuttgart. However, that's more relegation battle. Schalke Gladbach uh, will be interesting. I don't think a Bayern Wolfsburg. I mean, it's the return of Kovac to Bayern. It's gonna get ugly for Wolfsburg. I have the feeling. Uh, Probably the best game is actually the Friday evening game between Freiburg and Dortmund, if I look at it. I completely overlook it. That seems to be the best game. So yeah, that's what happened this weekend in the Bundesliga. Uh, rather remarkable stuff. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I enjoyed it way more than the Premier League, I gotta say. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And yeah, probably you will hear from these two leagues next week as well, because it's last rapid. That's a big one and probably want to talk about that one. <laughs> Any case, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.